like so. And we cross over at the top and we use these two fingers to hold it into place. Then what we do is we put our hook underneath the first piece of yarn and then twisting our hook round we just grab that bit that's going over the top and pull it through. Then what we need to do is we twist our hook up and this creates a little almost figure of eight loop and keep it fairly loose, you don't want it too tight. And then once we've done that, we you can just hold on to that if you want to. We can just put our hook underneath our yarn we're working with and then twist your hook round. And this, when I do this, I actually move my hands round like this because it creates more, it keeps that loop in place more. So grab the yarn and then moving your hand round rather than the hook just move the hook down and pop it through like so and this creates a little dummy stitch which helps us get started on our magic circle something unique to Happy Berry <laughs> but I find it really helps so I'm going to show you that again so we dangle the beginning piece of our yarn in front of our hands and we wrap it round our two fingers and then we cross it over at the top and we use these two fingers to hold it into place we put our hook underneath the first bit of yarn and twist our hook round to grab that bit that's going over the top then pull it through. Then we need to twist our hook up so it creates that little figure of eight loop. Again, keeping it loose. We're just holding that. Put our hook underneath the yarn we're working with again. Then I'm twist my hand, my left hand. I twist that and then moving my hook down to come through the little loop it should just pop through like so and now we're working our magic circle and what we need to do now is work our five a single crochet so to do that still holding on to our, our loop we put our hook through the loop just go straight through that loop and we're going to grab the yarn we're working with again I'm still holding it into place here so I find that helps just keep things under control a bit. So I put a hook through the loop, grab that yarn, and then again, moving my hands around, I just bring it through the loop, like so. And then come back round, moving the left hand, grab the yarn, and then bring it through both loops to do your single crochet. And then that's going to be our first single crochet. So I'll show you again. Put our hook through the loop, twist our left hand so we can see what's going on at the top, grab the yarn, twist the hand again, just bring that yarn through the loop. And just you can use your finger to hold the stitches in place because you want to make sure they stay to the left of that first stitch that you made. It's important to make sure that that bit of yarn you've just brought through, as you can see there, stays to the left of that stitch. And then we twist our hands back round to grab the yarn again. So I'm always twisting my hand when I want to grab that yarn. And then when I want to work the stitch, I twist the hand back round again. And then I just bring that through both loops to do our single crochet. And there's our second one. So we do our third, we go back through the loop. And I want to grab the yarn, so I move my left hand, move it down, Move the left hand, bring it through, making sure that new bit of yarn is to the left of our stitches. Twist my left hand, see so I hold it in place as well. My left hand, so I'm always doing this wrist action with my left hand. And do my single crochet. There's the third. So I go back through, twist the left hand, grab the yarn, bring the yarn through, make sure it's the left of our stitches, hold it in place with your fingers, twist the left hand, grab more yarn, twist the left hand, bring it through. And we need to do one more, so we put our hook th through the hole, through the loop, twist hand, grab yarn, twist hand again to bring it through, make sure it's to the left, hold it in place, twist the hand so we can grab our yarn, twist the hand so we can work our stitch. And there we go. 
Now we've done five, uh, not including our dummy stitch. One, two, three, four, five. We can let go and pull that tail end to finish our five single crochet into a magic loop. <laughs> okay, so now we can work on the next row. Okay, so what we want to do now is we're going to chain one. Just like that. Just pulling it through. And then we're going to turn our works because we want to work back in this opposite direction. And what we're going to do is we're going to work one single crochet in that very first stitch. You can see that very first stitch there on the back. We're going to put our hook through there and it should go through two, two bits of yarn there. See there's one, there's two. It should go through there. I'm just going to grab our yarn. I'm always twisting my hook down when I bring it through a stitch. Bring that through and we're going to work yarn over. Hold my yarn in my hand a bit of tightness and do our single crochet, just the one. And in the next stitch, as you can see that little dark hole there, put our hook in there, and again making sure you're going through two bits of yarn. One, two, and just grab our yarn, bring it down and through, and do another single crochet. I'm going to do two in there. So we're going to put our hook back into the same stitch, same stitch we've just been in, grab our yarn, bring it through again, so two loops, and yarn over and do your single crochet. So you've got two single crochet in that second stitch. And in the next stitch, our third one, we're going to put our hook in there, and to make sure You've got two bits of yarn over the top of your hook and just twist your yuk, hook yuk, twist your yuk, <laughs> twist your hook round and down to bring it through your stitch and then we're just going to do yarn over and do one single crochet in there by itself Then in our fourth stitch along we're going to do two single crochet so we put our hook through there and then yarn over Bring it through and do a single crochet and put your hook back into the same stitch because we want to do two. Bring that through and do another single crochet. So you've got two single crochet in that fourth stitch. And the very, very last stitch, which is always slightly harder to get into, just need to make sure. So just need to make sure we're going through two bits of yarn. There we go. You've always got to make sure you've got those two bits of yarn above your hook. Let's bring the yarn through and then the yarn over. Put it through both loops to do just one single crochet. And that completes our second row. Now we move on to our third row. And it's the same thing again. We just chain one, so we just grab our yarn and bring it through our loop, let's do our chain one and then flip your work over so we can start working in the opposite direction and our stitches now are going to be these little holes at the top here so putting your hook into that first hole there again making sure to catch those, make sure there's two bits of yarn over the top of your hook twist your hook down and through and yarn over pull through both loops to do just one single crochet. Then the next stitch we're going to do just one single crochet as well. Like so. Then in the next stitch, so you can see I'm working through these holes at the top there. So they go down there, let's stay at the top. Then in the next stitch Bring our yarn through and do a single crochet. But we're going to do another stitch. So go back into the same stitch and do another single crochet. So you've got two single crochet in that third stitch. So you do one single crochet by itself, one single crochet by itself, and then two single crochet in that stitch there. And in the next stitch, 
I'm just going to do one single crochet. And then the next stitch, we're going to do one single crochet. And then the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So one, and go back into the same stitch and do two single crochet. And that should leave you with one stitch. And what I do when they're a bit hard to get your hook through, I just place the hook into the position where it needs to go. And then I just use my nail to bring the yarn, help the hook through, make sure we've got those two bits of yarn above our hook. Bring our hook yarn through, and then just do one single crochet. Like that. Okay, so you should have done one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, and then one single crochet. Okay? So by the end of that round, or row, you should have nine stitches. So you're going up by two each time, because the last row you should have had seven. And then for the fourth row, we're just going to do the same again. We're just going to chain one, so we just grab... I'm always holding my yarn in my hand just to keep it a little bit tight, and just feeding it through gently. So I just wrap the yarn over my hook and twist my hook down as I come through the stitch. And do a chain one. And we flip our work over so we can start working in the opposite direction again. And in that first stitch there, you can see that one there, right on the end, we're going to do a single crochet. Just like before. And in the next stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. Grab the yarn, two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And in the next stitch, we're going to do just one single crochet as well. But in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So we do our first single crochet. And then we put our hook back into the same stitch and do another one. Another single crochet, so we've got two in there. And then the next stitch, we just do one single crochet. And then the next stitch, we do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we do one single crochet. Stitch, the second to last stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. We'll go in there and do our first single crochet, and then we put our hook back into the same stitch. Go around and do another single crochet, so you've got two in there. Then the very last stitch is always a little bit hard to uh, get our hook through. I just place my hook into position and use my nail to bring it through like so, and twist our hook round, down, bring the yarn through and up, yarn over, pull through both loops to do the last single crochet. And you should have increased it by two again, so you should now have 11 stitches. And what we're going to do now is, sorry my tail is so creaky, what we're going to do now is we're going to work on the, the white, adding the white now. And we're going to introduce our white in our chain one, so instead of Yarning over with the white pull through to do a chain one. We're going to get our white yarn like this. And we're just going to hook, making sure the tail end is that side. We're just going to hook it over like that. And I'm going to hold it with my fingers like so. And then I'm just going to pull that through my yellow loop. So we're now working with the white. And then you just pull your yellow yarn so it tightens the stitch. And then we just do the same as we did before. We turn our work so we can see our stitches in the opposite direction. And uh, then in our first stitch, which is there, we put our hook in and do pull the yarn through and do one single crochet 
like so. And don't worry about it if it's loose like that, because all you need to do is pull your white tail end and that tightens that in nicely. So we've done our one single crochet in there in our white. Then in the next stitch, we do one single crochet. Then in the next stitch, we do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, we do one single crochet. And you can see I'm always twisting my hook down when I want to grab the yarn. And as I come for the stitch, I then twist the hook so it's facing upwards again. Some movement helps in crocheting, I feel. So we've done one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet. So that's in the first four. And the next stitch, you want to do two single crochet. So we do one. And then we go back into the same stitch and do our second single crochet. So we've got two in there. And then in the next four, we're just doing one single crochet again. So we do one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the next stitch. And then in that second to last stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So we do our first one, and then we go back into the same stitch and do another one. Like so. And in that last one, I just place my hook into position. If it's a bit tight, just use my nail to make sure we get those two bits of yarn above our hook. And then work our last single crochet. So it should look a little something like that. Now we need to um, bring back our yellow. So if you haven't fastened off your yellow already, now's the time to do so. And you can also fasten off your white as well so it doesn't get tangled. And what we need to do is what we did before when we changed to the white, we now need to change to our yellow. So with our yellow again, making sure the tail end is at the top, I suppose. I'm just going to place that over our hook, make sure our stitch is there. I'm just holding that into position. So again, I'm taking that in my those fingers edge to keep it tight. And using these fingers just to hold it. I'm going to hook it through my white loop. And then I'm just going to pull the white yarn to tighten that. You can pull the yellow one down a bit as well if it gets a bit short. And again we flip over and start working in these stitches again. So going into that first stitch there, we're going to do one single crochet. And like before, it's probably going to be loose, so you just take your yellow tail end and just pull, pull it down. And then that tightens that into place. And when you sew in all your tail ends, it will all become more secure as well. And yeah, so we've done our first single crochet, and then a one single crochet in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in the next stitch. As you can see I'm working into these top stitches now. Then one single crochet, again making sure there's two bits of yarn. One and two above our hook. So one single crochet in the next stitch. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. So you should have done one single crochet in the first five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. And then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five again. So we do one. Leave you two stitches, one and two, and that second to last one there. I'm going to work two single crochet, one, and two, and then the 
last one, it's a little bit tight to find, I just place my hook in the general direction of where that stitch should be and then just hook, use my nail to push it through, you should still have the one, two bits of yarn above your hook and bring that through and we do our last stitch and then we're done, almost, done with the crocheting anyway. Then we just cut our yarn and all you need to do is just pull through and that sort of knots it into place. So there we go, there's our almost completed lemon piece. So all we need to do is tie in all these tail ends and then we can work on the little bits of sewing just to add extra effect. So we need to get our yarn needle and when I tie in my ends, at the sew my ends, I just, using a yarn needle, thread it on and I basically just come in from the back into the yellow, it doesn't really matter where, just to knock that into place and then I just work my needle for the same coloured yarn as the tail end so if you've got a yellow tail end work it through the yellow yarn obviously and just work it through a few stitches as neatly as you can I'm sure you can do a neater job than I then come back in the opposite direction just putting it through Not pulling too tightly so it doesn't distort the shape and then just trim the excess like so there we go and that's hidden nicely in your project so I'm going to do the same for all these other tail ends and then I'm going to come back <laughs> okay so once you've tied in all your tail ends the same way as that first one I showed you then we just need to get some white yarn and taking a shortish length of yarn just cut it and get our yarn needle and thread it on I'm just going to do a little bit of sewing now what we're going to do is going to be working through that centre hole of our magic circle so just coming from the back if you have a preference for which side so they're going to end up identical anyway but um, coming from the back <laughs> through that centre of your magic circle it's going to bring our yarn through we'll leave a little end for sewing in afterwards and then we're going to just sew all the way over to the edge of our white there just slightly in from the yellow just like that and don't pull too tightly because you don't want to distort your little segment and then come back through the center of your magic circle again move your tail in that way there we go so it looks a little something like that a little bit like that on the back as well and then we're just going to go over by a few degrees again to the edge of our white I'm losing my voice just sew through again not pulling too tightly and then just come through the centre of your magic circle again so make sure that your tail end is not getting twisted into your project in the process try and keep that out of the way and then we're going to go straight over 90 degrees to the edge of the white and bring that through and then come up through that centre of your magic circle again like so. and then over by a few more degrees so you're dividing it up into a few segments and then back through the centre again okay, make sure that tail end is not getting it up into it. Keep out the way. Okay. And lastly, we're just coming straight, 
straight down into here. And then all we do is we come up through that centre hole again. <laughs> Thailand is so annoying. There we go. So it looks a little something like that. I'm sure you can do a neater, more equal job than I. And what we're going to do then is I'm just going to secure this into place by coming through that centre hole just a few times from the back. So it's coming round. Just coming from the back each time. It will wrap around the edge a little bit but that just creates more of a pith effect. Like so. And then all we're going to do then is we're just going to just sew so back down, slightly over, so you're not going back on yourself. So you go to the, the back or your least favourite side. And then you've just got to hide these tail ends. So all I do is I just sew it through those bits of sewing I've just done a few times, just to secure it into place. Trim the excess. And then you've got your beginning piece as well, so you want to 